So what the F is set collision enable? Well, similar to the previous video where I showed delay and uh, what was it? I believe it was visibility. Uh, this is set collision enabled. So basically what it does, it turns off the collision on and off depending on your needs. So if I click play and I run over, collision is on. And after five seconds, it's off. So quite useful for hidden secret er areas, or rooms, or walls, and so on. You can also do the opposite. In other words, you can click the cube under collision. You can do no collision, and in the set collision enabled, you can do collision enabled on. And if I run over, I should be able to run through it. But after five seconds, all collision back so it's quite simple you can click on the cube and you can do set collision and it says set collision enable cube that's correct it will add the cube manually and you just drag it over like this if by any chance the cube is not there you can always uh, I think it's alt drag the cube no sorry Control and hold and drag the cube over there and it's back. Uh, so that's how you do it. And as I said in the previous video, delays basically delays the specific um, set collision enable event or component or action, depending on how you want to name it. So that's it. Uh, hopefully that helps. See you next time.